Salut et seven et bienvenue au corps pour aujourd'hui. Alors, right guys, we're continuing today with clothes and the future tense. Last lesson you did so much. We did all new vocabulary for clothes, what clothes we wear, and talked about our styles. We also talked about colours and we went through all the colour adjective rules again. And we did the most difficult thing for year seven. We did some GCC French. We did the future tense. Can you remember it? Can you remember that song? It's been in my head literally since last lesson. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, etc. Right, guys, so today I'll be testing you on that. I'll be testing you on the colours. I'll be testing you on the clothes. We are going to do some reading and listening with some real French people talking about where they're going and what clothes they're going to wear. So, lots for us to cover today, mes petits. On y va. Et voilà le premier chose à faire, s'il vous plaît, tout le monde. Assez vu, inventez la date pour moi. Voilà, copiez le titre du genre. Je porte, je vais porter. What's the difference between these two? Et s'il vous plaît, faites le contrôle de post-it ici. Comment dire? I wear, I'm going to wear. The title should help you out for that. A white shirt, I play. My favorite lesson there is. Comment dire ça en français? Bon courage, mes petits. Put me on pause now. Get the date, get the title. Have a go at our post a note challenge. When you're ready, restart me, mes petits. Hello, right guys, if you restarted me, you're ready to start. You've had a go at our post note challenge. Let's have a look. So today, as I said in the first slide, we are understanding people talking about what clothes they wear or what they're going to wear. We're looking at these two tenses at present where our verb ch -ch 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 changes or the future tense where we've got a bit that says going. And then we have our infinitive, which means two verb, where our verb doesn't change. We've got the ER in the end here. And this was what the first two questions of our post-it note challenge were all about. So, I wear, c'est je porte. Because, wah, I chop off the ER, and then the pattern is E, E, S, E, 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 O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. So, I need an E for je. Then, I am going to wear, I need to say I'm going, and then I put the full form of the verb. Je vais porter. I am going to wear. I've got my ER in the end, which means two verb. And then I've got je vais, which is I am going. Do you remember our verb, Ali? You remember the song? Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Exactement. That's what you need to do. And then you put your verb. So if you've got the first two questions, excellent. That is the core thing you need to remember from last time. We also tested you on colours. So, a white shirt. Hmm, the letters are a bit confusing here, aren't they? Aren't they the wrong way around? Non, parce que c'est une chemise blanche. So, in French, you put the colour after the thing you're describing. So, you don't say a white shirt. You say a shirt white. Now, instead of blanc, I've gone for blanche because it's feminine as well. Remember, our colour has to agree. Voilà. Alors, numéro 4. I play. A classic, je joue. So with that, how do you say I'm going to play? Je vais jouer. See what I've done. My favourite lesson, this is back from module two. Ma matière préférée. And then there is, remember our little ninja man? Il y a is there is, guys. A really strong start here. Well done if you've got. I'll be very happy with three out of six of these today. A really good start. We will be testing you on your vocab first. But before our vocab test, let's have a little warm up. Et voilà mes petits, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire, on va jouer les sables muvons, vous avez 36 secondes et les mots ici, non pardon, les mots ici vont disparaître, voilà, donc il faut dire français, anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, rapidement, let me give you an example, pour aller, in order to go, je porte, ah ouais, je vais porter, I'm going to wear, un sweat, a capuche, a hoodie, un pantalon, trousers, Boom, voilà. Donc, il faut dire français, anglais, rapidement. Put me on pause. While you just get this back in your head, put me on pause to make sure you're ready. Then when you think you can do this, unpause me, I'll count you down, and then the words will start disappearing. Put me on pause now. Bon courage. Alors, mes petits, if you've unpaused me, you're ready to go. Trois, deux, un, allez Alors, first lines down, so you're rapid, mes petits. C'est 
second column's almost gone. Ali, 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 Ali. Alloy, cinq, quatre, soit deux, un. Et c'est fini, tu le mot. Alors, bon effort. How well did you do? Excellent. Let's see what you can do. On this slide here, then, c'est exactement la même activité, il y a seven. Mais cette fois, j'ai pris quelques lettres. Donc, il faut compléter la phrase, puis il faut dire français, anglais, euh, anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, français. D'accord? Put me on pause. Spend a minute. This is a lot harder. Spend your minute preparing when you think you're ready. Unpause the video and I'll count you down and make the words disappear. Alors, bon courage mes petits. 3, 2, 1, allez! Alors, c'est rapide, first columns down, allez, 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 allez. Et 10 secondes environ. Et 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Et c'est fini, tu le monde. Ex, if you got to the end of that, you did really well. That was tough. Year 7, you are ready pour le contrôle de vocabulaire. Alors, mes petits. Right, guys, so now, you'll need to load up the sheet I've got on Frog. And the first activity is our vocab challenge. You know how this works, mais je vais expliquer en français. Alors, donc, first thing to say, put your books away. Do not look at last lesson's vocabulary. It's not about that, guys. This is to test you. So today, the pass mark is nine. And if you don't get nine, then you need to go back to last lesson and watch the section where we go through the vocab again. Or even better, go on Memorize and click on the clove section and practice the clothes because all the words, every word on this vocab test is on there on that section. Do that for 15 minutes, then come back to this lesson and pick it up because that will show you how ready you are. If you just use your book and complete this, I mean, you'll be like, fine, I got past the vocab test. But then for the reading and the listening later on in the lesson, you're just going to find it really tough. So get the most out of it. Make sure you practice. This is a test for you. I'm not taking the marks and this is a test for you to see if you can do this, to see if you're ready and to test you on what you know. There's no problem if you don't know enough. Just go back and revise and then come back. So, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. C'est plus difficile aujourd'hui. Pour question 1, 2, 3, 4. Qu'est-ce que c'est en français? Je vous ai donné la première lettre pour mot. Donc, par exemple, I wear is going to be je. I just say I wear je pee. I'm going to wear je. Think of the song. De, de. And then, a verb to wear. Alors, donc, pensez comment faire ça en français. Pour question 5, c'est toute seule. Qu'est-ce que tu vas porter? Qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais? Il faut écrire l'anglais ici. Qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais, mes petits? Alors, donc, ça, c'est pour question 1, 2, 3, 4 et 5. Pour question 6, 7, 8, etc. Ici, voilà. Pardon. Ici, voilà. Vous avez les mots qui manquent dans la boîte. Et ici, vous avez une phrase. Donc, pas en vio. D'habitude, je porte en jean et D. Plural. Basket. Plural. Quoi ici? Donc, pensez quel mot ici est d'accord avec la phrase. So, pour something to town. To what to town? To, there's got to be another verb. You hear le verb ici. Usually, I wear jeans and... Trainers, it's got to be a colour. A colour for something that's plural. There's two colours in here. Is there? No, it's just one. Trouvez les couleurs et ça, c'est les réponses. Donc, complétez les phrases pour moi, s'il vous plaît. You also have our extra challenge today, but it's very, very difficult. I think you're all probably too thick for this year seven, having taught you all. So, you need to translate this sentence. This weekend, you're going to go to a party and therefore, you're going to wear a st purple stripy designer shirt. Won't you look cool? Alors donc, traduisez la phrase pour moi, s'il vous plaît. Ça, c'est la prochaine activité. Year seven, bon courage. I want you on your phones. 
to set a timer for four minutes. I think four minutes will be a good limit today. Cat minute. See what you can do in that four minutes when you think you've done all you can. Nine's the pass mark. So when you think you've done all you can, you think you've secured nine, restart the video and I'll go through the answers. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, if you're listening to me now, then you've had a go at a vocab test and you want to get the answers. Now, nine is a good mark. C'est la note d'admission qui veut dire en anglais the pass mark. Twelve or more will be fantastic. Quinze sur quinze. Ooh, la, la, that'd be an amazing effort. So, let's see what we can do. The first one, numéro un, D. I wear. Qui est? Je porte. So, this is our present tense. Je porte is I wear. Look at the difference between when we say I wear and number two, I'm going to wear. So you need a bit, this is going, and then we need two verbs. Donc c'est, je vais porter. Now to get the mark, you need both parts. I need the je vais after our song, but you also need the er on the end. You need the infinitive. Without the er, it just says I'm going where. I want, I'm going to where. You have to have this ER in the end. Guys, if you got that, a really good effort. Numéro 2, this one is nasty. Did you get it? It says, uh, to go to town. It could have helped you out if you got number 6 as well. It was there twice. It is, pour aller en ville. Voilà. And numéro 4, I'm going to play. If je vais partir is I'm going to wear. I'm going to play is, je vais jouer with the ER on the end. You need that ER. Guys, excellent effort so far four marks available you need nine today numero cinq i ask you qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais qu'est-ce que tu vas porter veut dire what are you going to wear it's in our future tense so qu'est-ce que is what tu vas is your going and then porter is to wear voilà excellent if you got this one if you're close i'll allow the mark for number five right five marks maximum for section one La deuxième partie, c'était plus difficile. So for number six, I've already sort of given it away because I said it was number three. Pour aller en ville. So in order to go to town, d'habitude, je porte un jean et des baskets. So here we say trainers. It had to be a colour, I said. And this is plural. This is plural. So our colour's got to be plural. There's only one plural word in here and it is... Blanche. Voilà, je, vais porte, uh, je porte un jean et des baskets blanches. One mark for aller, one mark for blanche. Bon effort, mes petits. So, seven maximum so far. Numéro 7. This one was tough. Je porte un jean bleu et un t-shirt de Adidas. So, it wants to say de what Adidas? An Adidas t-shirt of Adidas brand. Donc, le mot c'est de Mac. Adidas. So this word here, Mac, is how you say designer or who made your clothes. So on t-shirt, the Mac Adidas is what we'd say in English, an Adidas t-shirt. Right. Free words used. Free remain. Numero 8 holds all three. If you've got full marks so far, you've done amazing. But this one was really tough. I know some of you are going to drop a mark here. It goes. Normalement, le weekend, je... Porte un t-shirt et un jogging. Mais nu wants to say we. Oui. So what's that ending for we? Oui? Is it this or is it this? This is what we've got left. For nu, it always ends in ONS. Nous allons aller à un mariage et donc je vais porter un costume noir. Free potential marks you did sensation if you got those for year seven that was definitely the toughest one let's translate it it says normally at the weekend i wear a t-shirt and like a tracksuit bottoms but we are going to go to a wedding and therefore i'm going to wear a black suit voila All right guys a brilliant effort here if you had a go at the extra challenge i'll give you one mark for having a go two marks if it's absolutely perfect it was really tough today have a little read through guys can you add up all the marks you've got 15 so your maximum give yourself a mark out of 15 if you've got over nine i'm really happy with your effort you've done phenomenally well because this was tough if you've got under nine go back to last lesson have a little practice of this vocab or go and memorize and then pick this lesson up after hello year seven bon effort if you're ready to continue keep watching Et voilà mes petits, so 
you know the vocab, you've smashed it, you've done really well. But today, we're putting you to the test. Now, this is all from our year eight textbook, which just shows it's a year in advance of what you can do. But you legends, I know you're doing really well and you're up for this. What I want to do is test you. We're going to understand people talking about what they're going to wear in a bit of reading. Je vais expliquer en français. Allo mes petits, so if you turn over or scroll down rather to the second page of your sheet, you've got our listening activity today. I'm going to explain it in French. The first activity is a bit confusing, so listen to me really, really carefully. There is a big extra challenge as well. Alors donc, écoutez-moi bien, je vais expliquer ce qu'il faut faire. Et voilà, ceci c'est activité 1. Il faut lire le texte. Il faut lire le texte de Taliana, Talina, pardon, Renaud et Nicolette. Ils vont dire ce qu'ils portent. Mais la deuxième partie du texte est ici. Alors, donc, il faut trouver la paire entre Taliana et le bon fin. Par exemple, elle dit « J'ai un style plutôt décontracté. I have a relaxed style. » Normalement, je pars un t-shirt blanc et un jean slim avec un cha chapeau gris et des basquets. Normally, I wear a white t-shirt and skinny jeans with a grey hat and trainers. Mais ce week-end, je vais aller au restaurant. But this weekend, I'm going to go to a restaurant. Dot, dot, dot. So, what's the end of Talina's sentences? What's she going to wear to a restaurant? So, she's a girl. And she's going somewhere smart. Qu'est-ce qu'elle va faire? A, B, U, C. I want you to read through A, B, and C. And you just have to circle which one matches who. So, Talina, is she this one? If she was, you'd circle this. Or is she B? Or is she C? You've got to match up the ending to each of these people. Look where they're going. So, she's a girl going somewhere posh. Renault is a boy. And he's going to a wedding. So, what you wear to a wedding? Nicolette is a girl. And she's going to do mountain biking. So what do they match to? That's activity one. It's quite tough, that bit of a brain teaser. Alors, ceci, c'est activité deux. Après avoir fait ça, vous avez les questions ici en anglais. Who has to dress smart this weekend? Who is doing sports this weekend? Donc, il faut écrire soit Taliana, Renault ou Nicolette ici. Donc, Taliana, Renault, Nicolette, Taliana. Lina, sorry, Nicolette, etc. Il faut écrire le nom du poisson ici. La défi additionnelle. Et voilà, so this is Nicolette and this is the ending. So put it up really quick. You need to translate all of this into English. Alors, ça, c'est les trois activités. If you haven't quite understood that, why don't you rewind and watch me again and have a look at your sheet? You've got 10 minutes to do this. So put the video on pause, put a timer on your phone, pour 10 minutes, and when you think tu as fini, Recommencez la vidéo et je ferai les réponses. Good luck, mes petits. On y va. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys. So, if you're hearing me now, you've had a go at this activity and you're ready for the answers. I think this is a tough challenge today. Let's see what you've done. So, I'm going to do this backwards. I'm going to read all of these three and then I'm going to read the three possibilities. I'm going to match them to who. So we've already done to Lena. She says this weekend I'm going to go to a restaurant. So I'm looking for something A, B or C, something smart for a girl. Renault says, mais ce weekend, on va aller à un mariage. He's going to a wedding. So a boy going to a wedding. I need something smart and wedding-y. Et fin finalement... Nicolette says, on va faire du VTT. So she's going mountain biking or cycling. So she needs to be wearing something sporty. All right, let's check out A. Alors, je vais porter un pantalon noir, un chemise blanche, une veste, des chaussures noires et une cravate. Okay, so this person says, I'm going to wear black trousers, white shirt, jacket, black shoes, and a tie. That is very, like, that is incredibly smart. That has to be Renault going to the wedding. Et voilà, so Renault matches to A. Numéro B, pardon, letter B. Alors, je vais porter un short bleu marine, un t-shirt rouge et des baskets. So, so, I am going to wear a navy blue shorts, a red t-shirt and trainers. 
okay, that's you can't wear that to a restaurant. The AC will be cold. That's got to be the one doing mountain biking. Alors, c'est Nicolette. Et donc, le dernier is, alors, je vais porter une jupe bleu turquoise, des bottes noires et une veste noire. I'm going to wear a turquoise blue skirt, black boots and a black jacket. That's got to be Talina going to a posh restaurant. Et voilà, three marks possible for that. That was a bit tricky today. Well done if you got all three. Bon effort. The next activity is more like it. Et voilà, mes petits. So, let's have a little look to see what we can dress. Who has to dress smart this weekend? I think I'll accept two answers. I've gone for Renaud because he's going to the wedding, but I'll also accept Talina because she's going to go to our restaurant. Numéro 2. Who is doing sports this weekend? Well, that has got to be Nicolette here saying on va faire du VTT. She's going mountain biking. Numéro 3. Who wears baggy trousers usually? Sorry about the spelling mistake. All right, baggy trousers. Let's have a look. So Talina says, un jean slim. So it's not her because she usually wears skinny jeans. Oh, what about this one? Je porte un pantalon large vert kaki. It's got to be this one because he wears un pantalon large. Means like large trousers, that'd be baggy trousers. Et voilà, see what I did there, parfait. Alors, numéro 4, who wears skinny trousers usually? Literally just gave this away, it's up here. Uh, Talina, uh, Talina says, un jean slim, donc c'est Talina. And then, who can't wear a skirt this weekend? Well, if Nicolette is doing VTT, she's on a mountain bike. Uh, yeah, you don't usually wear a skirt on a mountain bike. Donc, il doit être Nicolette. Voilà, right guys. Five marks for this. Give yourself next to this with your red pens a mark out of five. Voilà, bonne for me petit. I got four marks. Voilà, bonne for me petit. Let's move on to that extra challenge. If you got into extra challenge and you did Nicolette, this is what you should have. Some really tough French here. Donc, j'ai un style plutôt classique. My style is quite classic. Plutôt means rather. So, la la, rather classic or rather normal. Normalement, je porte une chemise blanche et une jupe noire. Normally wear a white shirt and a black skirt. Very formal for your normal style. Mais ce weekend, but this weekend, on va faire du VTT. We're going to go mountain biking or one is going to go mountain biking. Alors, means so or therefore. Je vais porter is I'm going to wear navy blue shorts, a red t-shirt and trainers. Right, I've broken up the mark scheme. Put me on pause if you've done the extra challenge. Mark up your work. As always, exceptional effort, extra challenges. This is so tough. Put me on pause and check your answers. I'm really happy you pushed yourself for the extra challenge today. Bon effort. Hello, me Fiddy, you have been a legend today. Let's refresh what we've done. We've done some verbal volleyball to warm you up. We've done a vocab test and you've just done a tough, tricky reading. Remember, this is all from Studio 2. This is Year 8. We're now going to really push you out of your comfort zone, Year 7, because this is what it's all about. We're doing some more advanced French today. We're looking at clothes. We're looking at the future tense and we're going to test you on the hardest activity we can the listening. Now, this is for year eight, so I'm going to explain it in detail. Alors, mes petits, donc, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Cela faut que je vous ai donné. Vous avez un site de web ici. Donc, il faut taper sur celui-ci. Il va vous demander pour un code. Donc, quand il vous demande un code, il faut copier et coller la code ici pour l'enregistrement. Après avoir fait ça, cela faut Vous avez la grille ici et vous avez un, deux, trois, quatre personnes. Ils vont dire une activité qu'ils vont faire et ils vont dire ce qu'ils vont porter pour faire l'activité. Donc, ce qu'il faut faire, il faut écouter l'enregistrement en français et il faut compléter le tableau en anglais, mes petits. Parce que c'est Year 8 French et c'est difficile, je vous ai donné le premier deux activités ici. Donc, Colleen is going to go camping. She's going to say that. Qu'est-ce qu'elle va porter? So, what clothes is she going to wear? You've got to write that in there, guys. Really tough today. You've also got some keywords I want you to do. Your extra challenge, they're going to say, we'll see. And I don't know. If you can work out what they are in French, that would be amazing. So, what I want you to do now... <laughs> Put me on pause, go on that sound file, 
listen to it and remember you're in control of this sound file now so you can stop it you can pause it you can rewind it you can check your answers that's not cheating do as much as you can <clears throat> see what you can do and then when you think you've got all these answers in english and you fill the table out as best as you can in english restart the recording i'll show you the transcript and we'll have a little look through it bon courage mi petit this is going to be tough today bon courage on y va allo mi petit right guys how did you get on with that listening tough wasn't it i know so this is not cheating i've put the transcript up so this is a little copy of what they said what i want you to do is look at your answers read through this is there anything else you can pick out so check what you've got have you got the right things do you know did you work out did you get everything that they were wearing read it through now check your answers and if you want to add you can do that as well put me on pause read through one and two Allo mi petit, same thing, this is question three, this is question four, check your answers, read through what activity are they doing, what are they wearing, read it through and see what you can work out for me guys. Put me on pause, check your answers, fill in your grid if you need to, and also, I forgot, look for the extra challenge as well, it's in here somewhere, can you find it? Allo mi petit, right, let's blitz through the answers, so Colleen was going camping, and she was going to wear it's like let's give you one tick for each of it so it says out of eight but like it, this will give you slightly more marks so one for jeans one for a jumper black jumper even better and then one for a hat akai was going into town or you could have going to eat in a restaurant just one mark for this he said both possible things then you need a shirt green trousers navy and then a jacket guys and then melanie was going shopping with friends she was wearing jeans and then she says a candy pink hoodie i don't know either a candy pink i don't know if you know more arthur is going hiking with his family and he's going to wear a white t-shirt and then beige or brown shorts guys a really good effort here count up how many you've got it says out of eight but you can definitely get a top heavy fraction here remember one mark for each of these so that's three and then four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen maximum eight minimum so 13 out of eight is possible here today and then did you get our extra challenge words we'll see is on va voir and then i don't know je ne sais pas je ne sais pas now i've taught you that don't say that all the time to me right guys a really really good effort here this was such a tough task to reward you for your hard work i've got you all a little treat during lockdown Et voilà, here is your homework then, remember this from last time, so you need to get on our last section on Memorise about clothes, it is so important you know these clothes, you will do it again but not until year 11, you're expected to know them, so it's so important you're learning them and remember we've got our different tests, this is what to do for you to get the very top mark on your year 7 exams whenever you take them, even if you do your exams in September, this is what you'll need to know, so spend time on this daily test, make sure this is ready for next time, guys, you've been brilliant today, I hope you're happy and well in lockdown, remember, the whole school's still work working, if you've got a problem, you can email your tutor, you can email your head of year, you can email me, all here on our emails, I love to hear from you guys to see what you're doing and how, how like life is going and that, miss you all, look forward to being back at school with you, alors merci mes petits, à la prochaine fois, au revoir.